One of the earliest successful strikes in this country was run not only by women, but by little girls. At the Bryant and May Match Factory in London, girls as young as six worked from 6.30 in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening. They had to carry heavy loads on their heads, which left some girls as young as 15 with bald spots. And the phosphorus in the matches gave them what was called fossy jaw syndrome. Workers could be fined for going to the toilet or talking or dropping matches. In 1888, 1,400 women and girls went on strike for better conditions. They got a journalist to do an expose about the conditions in the factory and they did protests outside. After three weeks, management caved. They got their fines removed and they got a special canteen to eat in so they wouldn't get match chemicals in their food. And the increased public scrutiny meant that after a few years, the match factory was shamed into giving up the dangerous chemicals for good.